Hey guys, you're here with Barry again, and I want to take five minutes and introduce you to a great couple, and it's my personal second time meeting them. And I think they've been in the country a few times. We'll let them tell their story. Anyway, I want to introduce you guys to you, Simon and Julia. Hi, guys. And hey, folks. How's it going? First thing, though, thank you for taking a few minutes of your time. I know uh, time's running late. You're leaving soon. And uh, mind if I ask you just a couple of general questions? Um, you both, which is not always what happens for me, but you both um, have traveled a fair bit. And... Um, can you maybe name off some of the places that you've been in your in your travels? You go first. <laughs> a lot of Caribbean. So we've been in Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Middle East, all of Europe, Australia. North Africa. North Africa. East Asia. <laughs> pretty much. Canada, America. There you go. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> we've been a, we've been around a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I do know from meeting the first time, I do know uh, Julia uh, hails from Jamaica ancestry. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure you considered Jamaica as a place too at one time? Absolutely. Home will always be home at the uh, end yeah, of the day. Absolutely at the end of the true. Day. Absolutely true. Still a lot of family back home and they will always go back home. But uh, yeah, you know, there are certain things that you have to consider in life on top of that. So my next lead-in question, what made you guys choose here instead of all, now, I mean, Julia, you've, you've also traveled a big part of the world, yes, so you're not yes. naive to this at all. No, so not what all. made you, because I know now you're committed to come here, yep. um, it's not that they're thinking about it, they've made their decision, <laughs> but what is it that made you pick this place out of all the tons of places that you guys have been? I mean, I think, uh, you know, and I think it's pretty consistent with a lot of folks that we've met uh, here while in Cabrera and, and over the DR, but um, I think more than anything else, uh, it's very similar to home. Uh, mm -hmm. That was one of my personal requirements. I know Sai uh, will, will have his own requirements, but uh, I think more than anything, it has to be similar to home. The people here are very welcoming, very much like Jamaica, very much like, uh, you know, a uh, you know, few places that we visited in the past. Mm -hmm. And um, sense of community. I think that's something that's been missing, um, especially over our years of travel together and, and independently. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think when, when you're looking to settle down in a particular area, um, being able to come back to a particular place, whether you call it home or not, but to know that there, there's a welcoming community back home where you can call someone up if you have an issue with something or just to say hi and hang out and have a cup of coffee or whatever your drink of choice might be. Like me, don't you? All right. <laughs> Well, yeah, that, that, that was pretty important for me anyway. Mm -hmm. Sense of community and a place that uh, uh, you can settle in quite easily uh, among the, the local population and, uh, and feel just as welcome as you would be, you know, for me back home in Jamaica. So that was pretty important. Both you guys jump in. What's uh, you're here a week? It's it's yeah. going to be seven days, right? Or six? Yes, seven a week in total. You had some criteria you wanted. So just briefly describe, um, you know, a little bit about how your week went. I mean, in terms of did you meet people? Your, you know, you had appointments with lawyer, this, that, other things. Just briefly, so other people will know pretty much how it's how it goes about. Just been, we've met quite a few of your friends. You've uh, met in Greece. We've met the uh, lawyer. Get an eyes on. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's been very beneficial seeing what they've been doing and what they aren't doing, do's and don'ts, and how their contracts and work's been getting on, and meeting different contractors. So it's probably been more beneficial doing that than actually doing some zip lining and then jumping in the sea. <laughs> yeah, which, there's, which there's plenty of that. Yeah. Plenty of that. Plenty of that. But tell yeah, me, yeah. Um, tell me, your some of your experiences about during the week. Uh, do you find it useful about, um, do you find it a benefit on uh, meeting different people that already live here and has it been helpful to you? Did you? 150% probably. And, uh, <laughs> but no, it's, it's been perfect because when you consider all the moving parts that's involved in, uh, in, in, in relocating to a particular area or even just scoping the place out, research and things of that nature, it's... It, Again, there are not very many places where you can have a community of people that you can reach out and touch. Uh, and in, in, in addition, obviously, to your local expertise, that was very helpful in, in just helping us get oriented to the area. But when it's all said and done, the, the, the onus, the responsibility is still on us as, as, as future residents to, to consider, uh, you know, what do you do when it comes to moving to a new country? What, what does that involve? Who do you reach out to? And uh, it, absolutely, uh, being able to reach out and touch someone across the road. And yeah. you know, you, you, what was your experience? And people here have been very open, which again, 
it's it's further icing on the cake really to to, to again feel that welcoming uh, atmosphere but you know, even had yeah. a little coffee with my wife and uh, some of the ladies right oh, introduce yeah. you to i don't know four or five ladies maybe and i think we had a table of 10 10 okay <laughs> which is not quite i think that's more people i've met in the, than the past month back back where we live right now <laughs> Yeah, so I, so I was checking out the town and see what trouble he can get in and yeah, make sure. Su <clears throat> but, the governor. <laughs> well, he went off on his own to explore, and that was that was nothing at all. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. What'd you find out in the town? Anything yeah. interesting, or was it just the ho hum? It's just to get a familiarization yeah. and a feel. On my own, a big rocky toffee guy <laughs> made me. Do I feel at home in this sort of location? Am I going to get pestered? Yeah. Or someone poke me to jump in their shop. I'd be afraid to personally, but that's... No one. It's fine. It's no I'll, I'm going to keep you on my good side. You know? <laughs> no, no Everyone's so nice. Everyone says good morning. Yeah. You know, and buenos dias, how are you? And it helps you to learn the lingo, helps you to learn the, the language, which is obviously one of the most important things that you can do for yourself. But, uh, but no, it's just, I don't know, I love these people. They really much remind me of home. <laughs> Well, a lot of people say. tell me though they feel it's like three decades behind what it used to be in terms of people saying hello and strangers <laughs> saying hello and yeah. that kind of thing yeah. but uh, yeah <clears throat> well listen I don't want to take up too much time because I know you have one afternoon left before you're heading out and you got things to do but if there is I don't want to use the word advice but yeah. if there is anything you can tell other people such as yourself that may be sitting on the fence post just a little bit mm -hmm. afraid that I don't even go into the the past thing about the which they still have no information on about the six or seven people that that happened that was oh, if, yeah. if that's what turns off somebody they're at a frequency <laughs> that cannot be helped but but in, yeah. a, in any event uh, is there any two bits of advice now that it's your third time here right yeah, fourth. 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 fourth fourth and fifth yeah. okay in Cabrera yeah. five yeah. times can you believe it so it's wait a minute twice. I didn't see you the first time no no. The second I did, right or no? I don't think so. Okay, no. the third. Yeah, third time's a charm. <laughs> Third's a charm, okay. Anyway, is there any bit of, um, I don't want to say advice, but wisdom, because you guys have traveled more than a lot of people mm. I meet. Mm. You have to understand yeah. that. A lot of people I meet are, maybe they've been on a couple of cruises, mm. or maybe uh, to an island and an all include. Mm. They haven't really covered countries. You know, from the ground, like yeah, like yeah. much as my life has been, they haven't yeah. done that. Okay. So you have a fair amount of wisdom, which is only done by hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. Any last minute before we say goodbye, suggestions you can give people that might be a little bit afraid of different countries? Yeah. Well, speak to this man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, because come on, I'm not saying yeah. you know you you know safety better than most. <laughs> uh -huh. You have the knowledge, you've got the information, which is better. Well, I tell it straight. It's not always <laughs> what you want to hear, but yeah. but yeah. It, at least it's going to be on. Very much ground. so. Very much so. And uh, and and we we probably are that you're you're the second person uh, you know who we've we've dealt with here locally uh, to be able to help us understand really what the local area is about. What are the nuances here in the area? You know, who do you want to know? What mm -hmm. what maybe some suggestions? So I do agree. That was very helpful to to be able to have someone. Uh, and, and, and a full team of someone, you know, not just, you know, you, Johnny as well, was, was very important, you know, fellow... I'll tell you what. Oh, the banana bread, okay, <laughs> the banana excellent. bread queen. Very much yeah. excellent, very much excellent, but... Uh, but is it like yeah. a Nike commercial, guys, if you want to see an experience, you have to just do it, like Nike says? Quite frankly. I'm going to add a decimal number, so yeah, <laughs> I get your point. Because yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's BS so much of what's on the internet, you know, both one direction yeah. or the other. There's yeah. good advice, there's bad advice, there's truth, Absolutely. there's not truth. And Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. I, I do yeah. really want to take yeah. a, a moment to thank you guys. I'm you. kind of looking forward to you being uh, near me so we can start a little Likewise. trouble together. Likewise. And uh, <laughs> until next time, I want to thank you again. Thank and you. we'll be in touch. And thank you. Hey, guys, till next time, it's Barry and DR. We'll talk to you soon.